Guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. These are some special videos where I jump into my M1 finance account and I show you guys uh, how the performance has progressed uh, over the last couple of years that I've owned these accounts. I chronicle the progress to show that wealth building isn't necessarily getting lucky overnight. It's really a process. It's something that takes time. And if you're willing to devote that time, you can build wealth on all kinds of different levels. Now, these are smaller accounts uh, in the total uh, portfolio that I do hold. So please keep that in mind. But I think it does relate to all investors out there to suggest perhaps maybe that starting is the biggest hurdle that you're, you'll overcome. And then from there, as an investor, you'll look to build wealth over time. And, and these videos really help to capture how money performs uh, when it is put to risk in an account in the capacity that I'm going to share with you guys. So please enjoy. We're going to jump into the Vanguard Sector Specialty ETF portfolio and check the progress as it's unfolded over the last couple of years. And for the viewers here, love to welcome everybody into the M1 account. This is the Vanguard's ETF portfolio. Um, it's got the sectors, uh, all 11. It's broken down uh, strategically by percentage. I'll explain that a little bit when we get to the bottom end of the portfolio. But for you guys that uh, perhaps are new to these portfolio reviews, I do them periodically uh, through the channel to, to show progress. I really want to demonstrate to new investors out there that investing is a, is a process. And it is not one of those things that you get involved with in the acute and, and you find riches overnight. Um, it is more of a process that I think people need to incorporate into their life. Um, they need to become long-term investors. Uh, this account was started beginning of um, 2019, March 5th to be exact. So we've had this portfolio uh, working for us for the last three years and about four months. And uh, it has performed absolutely magical. And we have owned this portfolio in good times. Uh, and as of late, you can see here on the charts, the small tail off um, that uh, we've incurred here um, as it's rolled off due to the volatility. But, uh, you know, we're, the, the real takeaway here for a lot of investors that may be looking for options uh, is the, um, you know, the ability of this uh, portfolio to really weather storms. And, um, you know, I, I think uh, it is imperative that um, investors look at this passive investing option uh, as their first and only option for quite some time and allow themselves to understand the psychology of the stock market. And um, you're looking at the um, uh, brokerage account for M1 Finance here. And M1 Finance is um, one of those brokers that I share with my independent investor audience because I think it aligns uh, a new investor's uh, desire to get involved with stock market investing with what I think the, they should be adhering to, and that is a passive approach. Uh, M1 Finance is not a trading platform. Uh, it is an investing platform. And new investors really need to adhere to that as quickly as I can. Um, just to put some context around that statement, I have invested in this portfolio over the last three and going on three and a half years, and I've never touched it. I have never taken money from this. I have never rendered profits. I have only funded this. So it's a very important takeaway for those investors. And this can really provide a lot of value for viewers in that I share this portfolio openly with investors. It's in the description of all my videos listed under the Vanguard's uh, sector specialty ETF portfolio. But for the sake of transparency, I will also share this in the description uh, or the comment section for you, you guys for ease of access uh, for those uh, would-be patrons to M1. Um, this may be your opportunity to start investing. I started this portfolio with around $1,500. Um, that can absolutely be a very, very prudent entry to the market for new investors. Uh, for would-be uh, existing customers of M1 Finance, this can be an opportunity to take and save uh, an idea or a portfolio that uh, does it a little bit different. Uh, I break down the sectors strategically. Instead of investing in the S&P 500, which I do in other capacities in other buckets of my total portfolio, uh, just understand that the uh, Independent Investor Channel is affiliated with M1 Finance, and we always will be. Um, they provide a phenomenal cutting-edge product. Their technology is awesome. 
and it really just allows you to uh, pursue what I feel is the most important aspect of, of investing, and that is approaching uh, investing as if you are a wealth builder. Please understand that if you do click, click on the links and uh, start your portfolio with any of my links, the Independent Investor Channel can be provided a small piece of con for, uh, compensation for offering these tutorials, but these are wonderful. These really allow a would-be investor in a few minutes to sit back and look at a real portfolio. These are real dollars. These uh, dollars have been grown over the time uh, frame that I have disclosed to you. They have grown and they have digressed. So you're seeing all of the whims and ways of the stock market demonstrated for you uh, right through the compliments of YouTube. And I, I think it's a very, very powerful way to get to those would-be retail investors that are looking to get involved in the stock market in the correct manner. There's thousands of different uh, ways out there uh, of people who are selling different strategies uh, for you. I contend that there is only one and one alone uh, that stands paramount in comparison to all, uh, and that is the passive investing approach. Make no mistake about it, this is just an example of that. So total inflows into the portfolio, 17500 We're up about $3,200 uh, in uh, capital appreciation still in this portfolio with about uh, $722.50 in dividends to boot. I'll kick you over. This is a new feature in M1 Finance that allows you to view the dividends per holding. Uh, in my case, I have 11. Uh, these are the 11 sectors that uh, make up this portfolio, and here are the dividend renderings that have been um, that have been drawn off of each of these different ETFs. You see here, energy and financials lead the way, followed by uh, real estate coming up third. Um, but in the last few years, I mean, look at these renderings. These are nothing to shake a stick at. Um, these are just the dividends earned, okay? So seven hundred and twenty-two fifty, coupled with the capital appreciation of just shy, uh, or just north of three thousand dollars, totaling just shy of four thousand, is nothing to shake a stick at when we're talking about a relatively um, uh, lower portfolio and. If you're a new investor out there and, and you sit back and you look at this and you think, gosh, you know, in three years I can have over $20,000 invested if I just, you know, take a, a building approach like Ryan. And that's the amazing part about my message is that it does scale to the masses. I'm not asking you to get lucky. Um, I'm asking you to adhere to a tried and true uh, uh, method of fundamental wealth building here. And this is something that anybody can do. Um, I find all the time that so many people want to go out there and they want to find those 999 other uh, uh, aspects or, or avenues or approaches to the stock market and they'll end up coming back to passive investing because they've been burned by those 999 other methods of investing when the answer is right here in front of your face on how to properly wealth build in the stock market. And I openly share this. Um, I do it with ferocity through the channel because I understand that there is a lot of misguidance out there. Um, the schools of thought will watch my channel and they're, they'll understand exactly what I'm doing. And I just so happen to be right. And I share this so people can sit across from a real example of a wealth builder who invests in the stock market passively. And just to put some context around this portfolio, I have only funded it. I have never taken a rendering from this, nor do I plan on doing that. This was established with the idea of diversification and funding over the long term and allowing this money to build and grow over time. Okay, And I, and I think those are the, the fundamentals that any investor out there can adhere to, they can take, they can deploy for themselves, and they can find success in. It's very important. I want to bring your attention to the value over time here in the chart. This is of interest to me to demonstrate how when you start the account, it's not going to do very much. Okay, This grew its value over time, and it was really kind of a, sl a, a straight line. And then I, I funded up just a little bit here, and then we went into the pandemic low here. Okay, So look at all that time that I started the account, and uh, you know new investors are going to question why they even do what they do. Oh, this Ryan guy's off his rocker. Where's my $20,000? But if you notice something great happened here is that the snowball effect started to happen with my constant funding 
Am I constantly adhering to the passive investing philosophy over the long term? It's really been able to demonstrate for you guys uh, how wealth can be grown uh, over a relatively short amount of time. And you might be thinking, okay, well, how does the portfolio stack up? This is it. Uh, we are up in uh, all uh, 10 out of 11 of the sectors. And when I consider uh, uh, sectors, and I say that for you guys that may be new to the concepts of investing, um, this is broken down into 11 slices. Um, each slice or sector uh, is indicated here. Uh, and healthcare, uh, information technology, financials, consumer staples, consumer discretionary, utilities, industrials, real estate, and down the line represent each of those different groupings of stocks. Okay. So if you're a new investor, you could look at this and say, wow, this is incredible. And you might say, okay, well, how many uh, different healthcare names are comprised in these uh, different names? And you can go into each of these. And again, this is part of the reason why you want to, you know, maybe kick over and borrow my portfolio. I own 12 shares of this one here, but you can kick into v, uh, VHT details here and get all the information that you want um, about what it does what it tracks, um, how many different holdings are, are, are in the ETF itself. Um, top, its top holding is Johnson & Johnson and United Health, which is right in line with what you would want. Um, so um, just, just a really cool aspect of, of understanding what you own here. Um, just shy of $16 billion in market cap in this particular ETF. Um, so uh, kind, of, kind of a cool way of doing that. And so if we go back here to the home and um, we check here uh, at the bottom um, and you guys can take and find that information. Once I share the portfolio with you, you can you can go to, uh, find out each uh, individual, more information on each individual. But I want to focus on the performance of each of these. If you notice here, healthcare up over five hundred dollars. A lot of people are losing a lot of money right now in the market due to the volatility. Uh, I'm up. Um, and I've given back some house profit here, but but sitting good here with the market off about 20% uh, year to date, um, we stand to to really take a nice upside appreciation in this portfolio as it's used some house profit to, to buffer the downside uh, volatility that we've incurred in the market over the, the last few months. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I look for these to really embolden and, you know, strategic goals for me for the portfolio would to be to get and achieve that 25,000 and then up to the $50,000 mark in this portfolio in each of these holdings. I'd love to get each of them up to $10,000. Uh, and we will, there's no doubt in my mind, this is just indicative of what happens over time. If you're willing to take a tried and true approach to passive investing, and build wealth over time. Now, the only strategic piece to this portfolio that I have is the allocation, okay? And I don't want to lose new investors here, but what I've done here is I've uh, asked this portfolio to try to achieve a 13% target allocation. Now, the reason why it's run above that target is because healthcare has outperformed. And so there will be times when the equities within this ETF, the stocks itself, outperform and outpace um, this target allocation. Okay. Now, what this means in M1 Finance is that new fundings will not flow into this healthcare uh, slice, rather, go to fund some of the underweight sectors within this portfolio. So, healthcare is kind of on its own. To perform, if it digresses, it will digress toward that target. If it continues to appreciate, it will continue to expand beyond this target. But it will not be by nature of new fundings that this uh, healthcare ETF grows. Now, conversely, right below it, we have technology that has a target of 14%. And as you are well aware, uh, technology has really rolled off. Okay, So that's why we're below the target here. And think of M1 Finance as constantly trying to find that equilibrium in your portfolio as you've asked it to perform. So new fundings, this could flow into technology if new fundings are uh, injected into the portfolio because we're trying to uh, boost it back up to this target allocation of 14%. 
okay? Same idea here in financials. Financials have rolled off, okay? So this is the target of 12 and 11.4 is the actual dollar amount at the time of filming this video, okay? Consumer staples, they've outperformed. So we're over a little bit on that. But I have set these targets. And this is something that is customizable by you. Uh, you can use mine. It's fine. I mean, they make sense. They are arbitrary. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just a preference. And I share those preferences with you guys. And a lot of would-be investors, um, you know, may not have the wherewithal to come in here and set these preferences in a way that makes sense. In other words, you wouldn't want to set this to be, you know, 20% uh, uh, devoted to uh, communications uh, sector. Um, because that's one of the um, one of those sectors that I don't want the bulk of my money going to. So when I sit back and I say, where do I want the bulk of my money to go in this portfolio? Where you can see here on the top end, I've got 12, 13, and 14 percent, respectively, all going toward these top three sector ETFs. And it just makes sense for me in accordance with what I prefer um, as kind of a, a rule in this portfolio. And so you can use what it is that I have when uh, when you take uh, advantage of the portfolio itself or, or not. So it's totally up to you. But uh, guys, I really appreciate you tuning in to this and we'll kick you back and we will conclude the video. All right, guys. So we've come out of the Vanguard sector specialty ETF. This is uh, an interesting way of interest entering into the stock market. Um, it really does diversify you across all markets. Uh, it allows you to pick the sectors. Um, that you want to invest a little bit more and maybe throttle back on those sectors that you don't want so much exposure to. Uh, I've found great success in investing this way, and I'm, I know a lot of my subscribers has as well. It's a great way to build wealth. Contrary to uh, you know putting your money into a savings or a checking or even a high-yield account, this is a great way to just go ahead and invest your money and, and get that capital appreciation rolling. Uh, as well as a nice dividend stipend to do. Guys, if you appreciate the message coming through, I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave your comments at the bottom of the video, and of course, share the message with out there as we look to build the community of empowered, self-directed investors. Man, take the power back. The moment that you take control of your own money, the better place you will be in, in stepping toward that wealth-building initiative that we're trying to build here on the channel. Guys, thank you so much. We're tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.